Oh, you absolute wally. <laughs> <laughs> this is not how I wanted it to finish. This right here is perhaps the most advanced electric golf trolley you'll see in 2023. Behind me is my back garden. And this <laughs> is a bag to go with it. We're gonna unbox these two, take them out on the course and see how good they really are. But man, this box here, this truly is extremely advanced. Up there with the likes of Stuart Golf. And for its price tag, it should be. Let's open it up. Ah, oh, that was good. This trolley, 14.9 kilos, which does sound pretty heavy, but for the luxurious trolleys, that's pretty much bog standard because there's so many features available. Let's put this down. Now, inside this wonderful box is pretty much what you expect. If I take it out piece by piece while you look at my sh wonderful shed behind me, massive lithium battery, anti-slip wheel, and then a lot of little pieces. You know what? I'm just going to take it all out and show the end of it. Unpacking done, and albeit it's a big box, 14.9 kilos, there's not that many pieces to this puzzle. Can I help you? Can I help you? you? What do you want? What do you want? You want to say hello? <laughs> you get me dust soaked? No, not you. <laughs> right, so there was quite a lot of plastic that I had to um, get away because of all these baby seals that are surrounding me right now. Get off the remote. Come on, no. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> but there was a few things that I was really impressed by. First of all, from first glance, the 3.5 inch touchscreen actually looks a lot bigger than I thought. That I think is really important because last year's iterations, not the M7, but the S1, felt like the screen was a little bit too small and very reflective. So I couldn't really see what power I was going at. The wheels that I've got here as well are extremely sturdy, very similar to the DHC last year. So we're gonna have a really good traction control, downhill control for any weather conditions. Even though it's April going into May, right now it is absolutely soaked outside so i had to wait for quite a while to get this out and finally we've got this anti-tip wheel kind of the only thing that doesn't really come straight on this little bit here that'd be very simple to do then we've got a strap and also oh my knees are bad the remote here this all came very well packaged and there are some instructions as well and also we did have a little leaflet about all different types of trolleys the easy lock feature and the motor caddy performance if you do want to upgrade get the free trial for 12 months after that it will cost between 50 pounds and i think 70 dollars but it does have some really good features so i would recommend it although the one thing i would say is for 50 quid a year like when you're paying 1500 pounds i would like that included for the you know, the really expensive ones, but I'm sure there's a reason behind this. Realizing that the trolley needed to be charged, I chucked the battery on charge in my shed, but probably not for long enough. Then over to the Alfa Romeo, it did easily fit in my boot, but I would have liked there to be a little bit more space, but I made my way over to the golf course either way. So I have taken the uh, Motor Caddy M7 GPS from the boot of my Alfa Romeo. I would say there are smaller trolleys available, 15 kilos, there are lighter trolleys available. This isn't the main feature though of this wonderful electric trolley. You can make it smaller if you take the wheels off it or make them even inverted. So it makes it smaller as a more compact model. I didn't do that because I'm a little bit lazy, but we're gonna put it together for you now, fold it up and see how quick it takes. After that easy setup, and before we head out to the course, it's time to take a look at some of the key features of this trolley. The Motor Caddy M7 GPS is the world's first remote controlled touchscreen electric trolley with a crystal clear 3.5 inch LCD touchscreen display that is responsive in all weather conditions with a fully integrated GPS. This has over 40,000 courses that give you front, middle and back of green distances plus hazards. This can then be changed with dynamic hole location using your touchscreen. During your round, you can track your score and receive smart notifications as well. There's plenty more features to this trolley, so go check them out on motorcaddy.com. Now, over to Manning's Heath, where we're introducing a brand new concept to determine how good products like the Motorcaddy M7 GPS really are. Welcome to Set My Target. Set My Target is a brand new series coming to our channel, revolving around playing my best with new and exciting equipment and accessories. We will be venturing around the UK playing different courses and testing out the best products of 2023. The rules are simple. Five signature holes of each course. There must be a par three, a par four, and par five within these five holes. Let's get cracking. Oh, I could not. I've hit that any better. <laughs> All right, near perfect. You know what, Ethan, we're gonna say absolutely perfect tee shot there to start. And this is where we can actually start utilizing what is the uh, coolest trolley, if I just show you right now, the coolest trolley, I think, 
that's ever existed. That went too far. There is obviously the green feature, but it's not just a boring green feature, right? When you're just looking at it and thinking that, oh, it's gonna be front, middle and back. It does that, but there's some customization. You can change where the pin position is if it's front, middle, back. So if you've got a red flag, a yellow flag, a white flag, you can change that. So there's so much to go with just that. There's hazards, there's so much more. And we're gonna use that right now to try and make birdie on the first hole. I've got 57 yards to a middle pin with a bit of an upslope. So we're just gonna hit a pretty easy chip shot, try and get to about 20 foot and make the putt. Let's do it. Be good. All right, I think that's good. We'll find out. Come here, mate. Good boy. Which way am I? No, not that way. Get the hang of it. Come on, boy. I think it needs some, uh, <laughs> I think it needs some dog training. <laughs> Pretty good start, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. I said I wanted to get around even par, so it's a nice birdie on the first, which is actually probably one of the easiest holes. We'll do pretty well. And there we go. <laughs> that was close. One under, <laughs> one under. What are you laughing at? Our second signature hole is a little bit harder. The 18th here at Manning's Heath, playing about 400, about 390 it's saying on the Motocaddy M7 remote GPS. But it's just a flick of a five iron to begin with because it's downhill and we're actually going to get some rollout for the first time in 2023. Be okay. Draw a little. Yeah, right side of the fairway, got a little bit of a bounce, but it's a really good line in for our second shot. Right, so this is where I think the, the trolley actually is really helpful, the GPS feature especially, because we've got about one, four, eight to a middle pin. Breeze a little bit into out of the left, but there's a very, very evil bunker that I don't want to go into. So I'm going to club up a little bit by the recommendation and hit a very small nine, especially as my lofts are rather traditional. So we're going to see if we can get somewhere on the green and two putt for par. Oh, sit down. I've pulled it, oh no. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. We're on left side of the green with a really long putt, but I think if I hit that with a pitching wedge for the yardage, that would be a little bit shorter. So, tell you what, that's coming handy a little bit. But now's the hard part, which the motor caddy can't help out in. It's putting. <laughs> All right, two putts and we will move on. I'm using aim point still, although I'm not very good at it. These greens are now fast at Mannings with them being cut, ready for summer. Sit, sit. Sit, 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 sit. This is one thing that the uh, the trolley can't help. The trolley can't help you putt. It can help you get your yardages. Oh, you absolute wally. <laughs> right. That's quite a sad way to finish the 18th hole, but we're even par through two and now onto a par three. A bit deflating, but golf's not about the bad shots, it's about the next shots. Our third signature hole is perhaps one of the best. The fifth here at Manning's Heath is about an 175 yard par three with about 20 yards of slope. That's from my personal experience. The GPS that we've got on the motor caddy doesn't give slope. I wouldn't say that's disappointing, uh, but you know, we're not gonna, ever gonna see that in any sort of trolley. It's just in some watches and some range finders. So let's give this a go. Sit, sit. Ah, uh, it's gonna be left side and short. Oh. Oh, oh, it's really short. We're in trouble. Just because these holes are signature holes doesn't mean they're easy at all. That's why I am about 30 yards short on this par three. I'm probably going to make a bogey because this is not an easy up and down. On the green, please. Yeah, I mean, that's actually really good. Is that good? How far away? Ah, beautiful. 160 yard par three and I'm fine with a two putt here. No, no, stop focusing on the ball, it's bloody miles away. <laughs> I can't three putt this. This would be a good set the target to showcase in my putting. We're not happy. On to our first and only par five in this episode. We all know what I'm doing wrong here so far, right? Two over. What the motor carry does well is if you want to, you can put in your stats, fairways found, putts. I would like it if it had a little bit more, like Arcos, like shot scope. Could be a feature that they do in the future, but for the premium price, you know, it could do a little bit more. Just an observation. Ah, you absolute moron. Stay there. 
It's a bit left. It's, it's going towards the left side of the trees there. It's okay. It's going to be a layup for a par five, which is a bit of a shame, but we can use the motor caddy even more. Although uh, that shot wasn't great, this is quite a difficult par five because you can't bomb it. That's why I hit my mini driver. The motor caddy said it had about 320 yards to the water, 280 yard run out. Mini driver is a bit risky because if you hit a shot like I did there, you really do have to lay up. Could be a hybrid or maybe a three iron. Not too bad though, right? Now for this shot, I was able to utilize the motor caddy trolley to tell me how and where I should lay up. By pressing a few buttons with my fat fingers, I was able to find out how far I needed to hit for a hundred yard layup. And I did just that. Got about 100 yards left here to a back pin, which I have actually changed on the motor caddy little touch screen there, which is 99 yards to be exact. This is a course management thing, right? I've got 99 yards. I really want to go and attack it, hit a nice little low draw with a 54 degree. But if I hit a bad shot, I'm long and I'm, uh, you know, crying my eyes out. I kind of already have been for my putting, but look, on the green here, nice little easy swing with the 58. Maybe trying to hit a little bit of a trap draw and it shouldn't go long. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. I think it's long. <laughs> okay, no, it's good. It's good. It's good. Let me get my divot. So we're long, and we've got so much shrapnel in the way between uh, the here and the hole. It's just a two-part, guys. I'm sorry. But if I two-part, make sure you like and subscribe, because we haven't really seen that that much today, have we? In fact, we haven't seen it at all. I've one-putted, and then I've three-putted. No, Ethan, I've done it again. I thought that was good. These greens are so much faster now. But look, this isn't an Alex putting review video. I think Teach Green has been pretty good. I said I wanted to. <laughs> I wanted super. Now I've got this for a part. Oh no, that's gonna haunt me. <laughs> Right, three over. I don't want to talk about it. I need a beer. We've got one hole left, the par three, the best par three in the world. Don't leave just yet. <laughs> this is not how I wanted to finish our first ever set my target challenge, but it is cataclysmic out here. I haven't got a jumper. It's wonderful bag. It does have a rain hood. I took it out because it's the start of May. I'm not expecting to have a monsoon here in Manning's Heath in what, West Sussex. We've got one hole left though. Look, we're three over. Let's make a par <laughs> and just move on. Right, titled the waterfall hole, playing at about 143 yards. I'm gonna hit a very small nine iron just because it's gonna spin back by like 20 foot if I hit a good shot. Wins as well. This is just a hole. Again, you wanna try and get on the green and move on. But for the last hole of the day, let's try and do a little bit better. I tell you what, it is a lovely shot. Spin, spin. Uh, my eyesight's not good enough, but I think that's quite good. Let's go find out. Decent shots. 15, 12 foot for birdie. I was thinking, you know, just two putt this. But I've said that for the last nearly half a dozen holes. And that hasn't led very well, so we're making this. I've already aim pointed it. It is a bit scary down that hill, but I don't think it's any more than a few inches outside the left. So we're going to tickle it down there and get back to two. Yes! <laughs> yeah! I see you! I see you! I pushed it and I misread it, but we've got back to two over. The score was okay, but the motor caddy M7 remote GPS, did it make me play better golf? I've had a few more weeks now with this M7 remote GPS trolley by motor caddy, and did it improve my golf game? No, it did not. One could argue that the GPS feature could improve your golf game, but it didn't for me. The most important thing though is enjoying the game. And with this golf trolley, I absolutely loved every round I played. And trust me, I had some horrors in there. I truly think this is the best electric trolley out there in 2023. But I'll be interested to know what you guys think. So let me know down in the comments what you think is the best electric golf trolley of 2023. And if you did enjoy this video today, guys, smash that like button. And if you are new to Golf Magic, hit the subscribe button as well to keep up to date with all of our videos. I will catch you at the next one.